Love them knives here. Steel wheel piercer. That's what we're going to talk about today. This is the high-end piercer. The F40-61. Welcome back to the studio. LTK here. Got the piercer. Got it from White Mountain Knives. Okay? And this is not the liner lock one, but I'm going to get that one because there's one that's got G10 on both sides. It's less expensive and it's a liner lock. So we'll take a look at that one later. And I'm going to give you the information. White Mountain. 110.99. Got my little paper clip in there. Here's your information. Four and a half inches close. 7.7 .7 overall. Two point or 3.2 inch blade. Eighth inch thick. D2 stone wash. Uh, 58 to 60 HRC supposedly, and all this kind of stuff. Titanium uh, frame, stainless steel clip, and there's. The liner lock, it's only $67.99. You didn't have it in stock at the time, so I didn't get one of these, but I'm going to get that. And there's the stats on that, too. It's got a D2 blade as well, so basically uh, the same length and everything. And this, in a G10 liner lock, I think would be my preference, actually. Um, because, first of all, it's a lot less expensive. Got the same basic... I mean, it's got the same blade and dimensions and everything. So I'm looking forward to getting that one and maybe even have a little shootout between them. And this one's on phosphor bronze washers, as you can see. So give it a little help right now because it's not smoothed out. It's still kind of tight from being brand new. And it is brand new. It's easy to, uh, to open up, you know, like that kick it give it a little help with gravity but this one otherwise you just slide it open not a problem frame lock big old lock up right there 50 percent at least there's your over travel stop you can see through here grab my flashlight out of my junk just laying there and yes they have a hardened steel insert in here to interface with your d2 blade that's good there's your G10. There's your titanium. Uh, they didn't do any uh, weight relieving on the titanium back in here or anything. So nothing there. And I'll give you the information on uh, Remacy. Um, I got his, his Facebook. I got his uh, Instagram and I got his website links uh, that you can check in. And he's excited about this coming out as well. Of course, he had this piercer. I mean, he has a picture of one on his Facebook or his website, I believe. So this is his design. And, you know, it's supposed to be, and it's still a little stiff, a piercer. And I imagine it might do that. Let me get a little piece of paper here. And let's start out really let's start out somewhere there we go let's cut some paper can we pierce yes we can so I, apparently it's good it's supposed to be like a general purpose knife that you can carry and it's not real obtuse it's got a really deep carry pocket clip that can be reversible so right and left hand tip up carry Big, long, thin one, but not overly uh, stiff. So should go in the pocket really well. And I can't remember. I'd remember if it was difficult going in the pocket. So let's just uh, say it probably went in the pocket pretty good at the time I tested it out or I'd have made note of that. It's got jimping up here on top of this blade. That is meaningful. It's meaningful. I like the design. I think it's interesting. Kind of a rough, tough finish on the backside, but I think this is going to be a rough, tough use knife anyhow. Uh, lanyard hole back here. 
Now let's get a weight on it. Because that is important as well. Maybe when we get the G10 in, we'll, we'll compare. 3.92, so it's under 4 ounces. And I just whipped by uh, grams, 111 grams. See what we see if we can get this over it. Oh yeah, so it's not that fat either. 4.77 inches, which is 12 millimeters, and blade stock. Check that out. Uh, 3.15, like about an eighth of an inch. Now what do we got? 0.1, yeah, about an eighth of an inch. 0.122. Uh, the design flows nicely. Clicks right open with a lot of authority. That's a heavy lockup on that. So it feels, you know, it gives you a feeling of confidence. The ergos on this are uh, pretty good, actually. I mean, I can't really get right up on the blade necessarily. I feel like this thickness in here has kind of pushed me back away from it a bit. But that might not be a bad thing if I'm doing heavy cutting tasks and stuff that I'm kind of away from that. Got a little choil in here, so sharpening should not be a problem. The pass-through is really easy to get to here because it is raised. I mean, the scale is cut away lower than the frame. So, not a problem there. And as time goes by, these washers will smooth way out and you'll be able to just like flick it open, which I can't quite quite get right now but in time things will get better middle finger flick so really opening and closing is one-handed really easy not a problem and you know what going with washers tell you the truth on a knife like this i think washers are very appropriate you know they're they're not going to gather up as much debris as bearings might so uh really for a tough use uh regular you know, six pack Joe carry knife. I think this is a, uh, I think this is really good. Steel wheel, interesting design. Check it out. Open. There's your backspacers. I mean, your standoffs, I'm sorry, but you know, here's a backspacer here that wraps around. Not bad at all. Obviously, titanium. Yeah. All right, I think I'm about done bothering you with this one, but by the way, take a look, go to White Mountain, get yourself 10% off, but that gives you the information on the model number. Cool little carry knife, really looking forward to the, to the full G10 version of this. Because I think, I think that might be just a nice... Just a nice pocket knife for general purpose use. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for hanging around. Steel Wheel Piercer comes in also G10 with a coated blade as well as the satin model. So check it out. White Mountain Knives. Give you the link to that. You know what we do around here. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.